So um, I haven't known one of these in a while. I just haven't really had much to talk about, but it's your favorite five foot host for the second time. And I think there's going to be another small episode of small talk that I might just be like half an hour. I'm not really feeling it, but it's just kind of the best thing that I can think of to just get my mind off the fucking shithousery that went on today. Uh, Like, were you fucking, it was senior night, last game of the season for basketball, which I'm already not fucking good at, let alone, like, I don't get fucking playing time senior night. And, oh, man, it was a good team. They're all right. I think, like, we just we were fucking tired. But I don't know. I'm just disappointed in myself. I, I played a good game. The most playing time I get all season, right? Then he told my dad to come to senior night. I had to give my flowers and stuff to Grim just because, like, I was like, yo, he's a coach. He's, like, another father figure for me. So I was like, I'll just give it to him. And because I knew that I wasn't going to get much playing time. And I got sat out for two quarters and then finally only played in the first. Did jump did jump ball. And uh, fucking that's about it. Like, I literally took all the fucking losses I could today. I didn't win jump ball. I didn't score a fucking point. I did. I missed free throws. I didn't get an assist. I all I, I'm literally a fucking Dennis Rodman. I'm the shitty Mexican Dennis Rodman when it comes to this. Like, I ha I can get like four fucking rebounds a game against six foot four people, but I can't score. I can't score. I ha I went up, got fouled. You know, two shots. I missed both. Fucking. Chance to me for success. I missed both. I one I did have to crap to put myself. Had to you know move a little bit. Huh? Jumper. Oh, you know. But I fucking missed. Hit the rim. You know. Fucking type shit. I just suck ass. Hopefully track season is better. And the thing is that like I left. Uh, I left with tears in my eyes, like out of frustration because the one time I get fucking playing time and I do that shit. And it's like, we're a small school. Now I know everybody's going to be behind my back saying I'm ass. Like, I mean, I'm not going to deny it. Like, fucking hell. Not race me, pussy. You know, that's all I'm going to say. But, like, but it's just like, I already know that people be talking shit. I mean, I was on the bench and I was hearing them talk about it. I was hearing them from the bench over to the bleachers. I was hearing how they were talking about Patrick when he was taking some dumbass shots. And it's like, bro, fucking Kyle got on the fucking score sheet tonight more than I did. I scored two points in a JV game off of fucking free throws. I mean, I just suck ass. I can shoot all I want. I can do everything I want and just fucking around. But I just, I think I got nervous. It was one of those cases where I just got nervous. You know? Like, it's that type of shit that pisses me off. You know? And it's just like, I feel unsuccessful as a player. And as an athlete, like, I just feel unsuccessful because I didn't contribute nothing. And it's not, I, I mean, in my head, I just want to use it like a scapegoat and blame it on the coach being like, well, how am I supposed to handle those moments when I never get them because I don't fucking play? But at the same time, like, I just suck that much ass that I fucking missed. Like, out of maybe the eight points that I could have made, I missed all eight. Like, and I'm trying to think that about in soccer and like soccer terms. Like, out of two times I was in front of goal with the keeper, I missed both. Because in soccer, it's a lot harder to get in front of a keeper 1v1 than it is basketball, you know, going up 1v1. And it's a lot harder in basketball because this man can do fucking anything. And I'm already at a disadvantage on my height. But, I'm fucking, I don't know. It's just, it's upsetting for sure. Like, I'm already a loser as it is, like, personality and, like, human-wise, I'm already a loser. So this just adds the cherry on top, realistically, because it's utter ass. Everything everything that's going my way seems to be utter ass. Like, it's absolute shit. Like, I'm recording on a fucking potato-quality-ass thing, and I'm just trying to get people to, like... I don't. I honestly don't want people to listen to this. The only people I want to listen to this is maybe, like, a small circle of people like I know that if this goes out and people find it I'm getting clowned on like no fucking question about it but it's like 
it's just it really is frustrating though. Like obviously people say like don't think about what other people have to say, but like bro. People came out tonight, people were excited, people were cheering me on, and I kinda disappointed. Massively disappointed. Like it's almost disrespectful that I wasted the fucking time. The people that came out specifically to see me, thank God my dad wasn't there. My dad was there, I would have been dead. I would have not want to come home. I would have just stayed at the fucking gym. I would have but I'm not touching another basketball, that's for sure. I'm not touching a basketball with a 10-foot fucking pole at all during the rest of the year. I'm fucking dedicating my shit to track and lifting weights. Because weights are my demons and I must conquer them. Speaking about demons and that type of shit, I've been watching some a gnarly-ass anime called Jujutsu Kaisen. There's only two seasons. I'm like, I was watching it for a while because I was convinced to by some by someone. So I was like, I'll watch it. But because I was fucking cheap ass, I just I didn't want to spend money. So I used a subscription, like a free like trial. And I just never finished it. Like I have all the time in the world. I think it was during soccer season. So I was like very busy at the time, actually. So I'm not going to say I had all the time in the world. But like now I do, you know, so I can finish watching that. 13 episodes in, had to restart from the beginning season. And it's really badass. You know, like, I, I'm i kind of just really vibing out to it. Because it, it kind of makes you suspicious because there's, like, a bunch of random characters and they each have, like, one thing that they're hiding. Like, there's a guy who, who, who like, wears a fucking thing that just covers like this. And it's because, like, a parent, like, he, if he speaks normally, he can fucking curse you and he can, like, fuck you up. So he has to speak in rice ball ingredients. Like, he'll say, like, if you're trying to talk to him, he'll just go, like, salmon mayo. That's the one that stuck with me that I found fucking fun. And then there's, like, another one uh, in whose fucking eyes are covered, right? And same thing with him. So if he, like, takes out that blindfold, he can... He can do whatever his little sorcerer shit is. And he's a fucking beautiful man. Like, I, it takes, you know, like, I have to just recognize that he's a beautiful man. This dude is, like, got blue eyes when his hair is down because of the blindfold. And his hair is typically up because of the blindfold. They can finally go down. This man's a gorgeous man. He's borderline, like, Hitler's perfect specimen, which, like, if that makes sense, you know, like, blonde hair, blue eyes, like, that type of dude, you know, and he's cracked. But I mean, I just I've been really vibing out to it. Again, it's probably if it's Anderson watching, you probably don't really fucking care, dude. Like, and I don't know. It's just something that I like. Cause again, and I I don't know. I think this 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 topic this week is a, like why I feel like I'm a loser, but yet, you know, why I feel like I'm not. It's kind of like venting, but at the same time, like, I've kind of acknowledged that I am a nerd, like, loser, like, that type of, uh, like, type of person. Mostly because I just don't fit in with the general public of people. Like, I can try my hardest, and I can get people like, people like me, you know, like, they see me show up, they damn me up, they like, you know, and people are like, oh my god, it's high, man, you know, like, people get excited, like, people are happy to see me, I get invited to places, and people just know me and, and stuff like that. But, like, for the most part, it's just, like, I, I know that to them, I, that like, I don't really fit in. But I'm, I, but it feels nice to know that I'm that cool of a guy that, like, they'll invite me just because they're, they're, I'm nice, you know. And it's kind of that reputation that I built up, like, just being the nice guy. And things are, like, kind of like a glue to a certain degree because, like, I think I help out just kind of the team, my friends. I know them. I like to think quite well, but who really knows? Who really cares? But, you know, I, I just kind of build up their reputation, and it's not a bad one. I'm not disappointed at all. I kind of like it, you know, that I'm like a peacekeeper type of thing. I'm just like a neutral person. Like, it really just, that's all I am. Like, I'm a nerd, yet I can, I'm an athlete type of guy uh, people see me as like cool like like between my friends like between my friends i'm a dude who had who uses incense 
plays random shitty Xbox games, plays Pokemon, super fond of it, by the way, has Crusader helmets, and, like, um, collects Funko Pops, you know, and I fit in with that type of crowd, like, just kind of nerdy type of people, and then... At the same time, I'm out there. Like, I'm I'm like a cool kid. I mean, but if we fucking live in Vista and, like, and that type of thing, so it doesn't take much to be a cool kid. I just, you just kind of have to do something badass once in a while. And you consider that. But, like, I kind of like it, you know. I, I'm very fond of it. I don't have a problem with it at all. Because, you know, it just kind of lets me know that I'm I'm a little different. I'm just kind of out there. I mean, you can see by my room, I'm out. A little bit iffy, you know, there's like, you know, there's that Gengar underneath some sports trophies. I have Rubik's Cubes just sitting there. I would like my rings as well, like everywhere. I have a fucking board who's had BTS members written on them for like maybe, of, I don't know, maybe two to three weeks already. But it's literally only because I was, I kind of need to get used to it because for some reason, there's a lot of girls, like, th- that are really into it. My cousin is into it. The girl I'm talking to is pretty into it. And it's just, like, at this point, it's just good to have as general knowledge in case I ever have to bust it out, you know. Though, that, but that's only on special occasions, and I should probably take a picture and erase it because it's probably very questionable. But uh, for the most part, yeah, I got that whiteboard. Haven't used it much. That's literally the only use I've had of it so far. And, well, yeah. But. Mm-hmm. I think I'm, think I'm going to try and push this to 40 minutes. Just kind of speak open-mindedly about what's, like, kind of going, been going on and all that stuff. Just because I don't really have nothing to talk. I don't have anybody to talk to right now. Like, I'm stuck in a very bad position. Like, uh... People, I, I, that, that's a problem I have is that I'm not much of a very out branch person, which could be good or bad. Bad because I get lonely quickly and it's just like, uh, like I end up being alone too long, but good because I don't really feel the need to have anybody's attention at all times. But it's like, I don't know, I just kind of got used to having someone's attention to myself for a while and then them just not being there kind of does suck you know like that sudden change and stuff but yeah you know, i try not to think too much about it now hopefully the guys are playing siege fucking hey man if, I, if i'm watching this again like in two to three years fucking hit up the boys for siege hit up the boys for siege that's what i'm gonna do a good a nice little note for me to have just Ask the boys to play Siege. And uh, you all probably have fun there with Fat Foden, a.k.a. Ivan, Baby Pluto, Brandon, and Scoundrel05, Hector. I'm saying this just because one day I might be like, oh, who the fuck? What was their names, bro? Like, let me try and look for them. And I'll probably look back at this video like a random thought will go back in my head just because my brain works like that. Where I'll, I'll get a random, like, I'll be thinking of something and then the fucking memory. Comes into my fucking head, and it was like the most small, obscure thing ever. Yet it's just, it comes to mind when I need it, and I think that that's honestly kind of cool. So like I'll again, I'll probably see myself like in two to three years, like maybe looking back at this, and then being like, oh, or like maybe considering like, oh yo, siege with the boys, video games with the guys, and then I'll be like, what the fuck was their username? And then in my head, I'm gonna tell myself, go back to the recording you did. Back on what is it the third? It's calculator watch. If I still own this shit, that shit is badass. Uh, it stuck with me forever. But it is currently the third, so uh, I'm gonna be thinking back of the to the third of February, twenty twenty three. Thinking yeah, when I made that recording when I was in my room, lonely, tired of shit, and probably very malnourished and dehydrated, I should probably hit up the guys. To play video games. Speaking about video games, I want to get more into solo gameplay video, video games. I played this game called High on Life. It was pretty badass. I mean, there's videos of it everywhere, but it was like you're an alien bounty hunter, and like Earth is under attack by monsters, by a cartel of 
aliens that are smoking humans or trying to make them into the new drug. So you have to save Earth by destroying this cartel. Uh, and well, you're a bounty hunter. You go and collect these weapons throughout the quest that you go on. And you go around killing uh, certain cartel leaders until you reach the main one, fight him. Then, well, you save the Earth. It's really badass. The guns talk to you. Like, one of them looks like a frog. It's like a shotgun. And, well, and it shoots out of his ass. And, like, all of them shoot out of their ass. And you, like, and you stick their your arm in them. It's kind of, it, it sounds fucked up, but, like, it's kind of badass. You should look into it. Like, there's one who can reproduce children at a fast rate. So, he sh- you shoot him in the fucking children launch. The children launch. And so the main ones, they just jump, they run, they find the nearest target, they jump on it, fight it off, whatever. The, then there's one, like the special child, like in the center, you only get one and it takes a like longer to reload with those. Uh, that one, you shoot it and whoever it lands on, it can control the person. It can control the enemy and turn it against uh, the other enemies for a short period of time. And that's pretty badass. But I mean... Um, but I want to get more into games. I need to get Elden Ring for sure. Play that. I haven't played it. Got into Dark Souls for a little bit. Not the best, obviously. I mean, people that fucking take that game too serious are weird. And, well, I'm weird, so I'm going to take it serious. But at the same time, I want to do that. Maybe Sekiro Shadow Dice twice. I think that's what it's called. You know, but for sure, Elden Ring, which is just like the new Dark Souls. Maybe Doom. Doom Eternal, kind of that same alien fucked up type of shit, but it seems badass. I mean, I downloaded like lawn mowing simulator and power washing simulator, and they were a lot of fun to be honest. It was very aesthetically pleasing, if that makes sense. Just like sitting there with a power washer and just being able to fucking wash it, and like I earned money from it, it was pretty badass. <sighs> but I need to find myself shit to do, you know. I want to build more Legos. That's another good one. But the thing is, I don't know where I would put them. I don't have space for them. My desk is... Both of... All of my uh, furniture that I can put things on top of them is fucking packed to the brim of random shit. So it's like... I don't know. I'm kind of just stuck wanting a lot of shit but not having space. Which is one is one thing that I'm looking forward to college is if I'm depending on where the fuck I'm living, I'll have more space because this shit is like a cubicle. I don't have space, and honestly, I'm not gonna have a bed like this because this shit is too big for me, bro. Like, this shit is too big. But if someone else wants to help me cover up the space, all I'm saying is that you know, uh, but uh, it's too fucking big, bro, and uh. I'll sleep on my floor occasionally. Why? It's more comfortable. It's comforting. It's like my comfort space. And that's to me is pretty badass, you know? But um I'm probably gonna get like a floor mat that's like a bed, like a very thin mattress, and I'll just lay it like I can roll it up or fold it up, and then when I need it, I'll just extend it out and then roll out, sleep there. But and although it might not be more comfortable for women, I doubt I'll have any hope because fucking I don't know. I just have no hope in myself, no confidence. But uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, fucking what else is I was gonna talk about? Track season. I'll talk about track season. Well, track season is coming up. Hopefully, I do better than basketball. There's no bench, so I can't be benched. If I want to sit out, then it's just on me. But I think I'm going to go for long distance and maybe a couple of short distance races. I'll for sure try 100 just to measure where I'm at speed-wise and see if maybe I can even compete in it. I doubt I can because motherfuckers be taking that shit serious. And it's probably like some tall, lengthy white boys who, like, when I take two steps, they take, like, one, you know? Like, it's, it's just ridiculous. And... And I'm just hoping that I can do better. I mean, that there's this one kid in Wawa that kind of got my confidence up. I fucking smoked him. He, I was like at half court, and he was like, no, I was below. I was be- behind half court, and this fool was like, 
midway between our goal box and the fucking half court. And they sent him a ball, and he started sprinting, and I started sprinting at the same time. I caught up to his ass. I caught up, and I took the, I beat him to the fucking ball, bro. I'm like just to tell you how, how fast I ran. Okay, like that's pretty fucking fast. But like, I, and he told me he was like, uh, we were talking. He's like, hey, take it easy on me. I'm not a, I'm not a soccer player. I'm a track, I'm a track runner. And I was like, oh, what you run? And I was expecting him to say long distance because he's slow as fuck. But he was he's like, oh, I do typically 100, 200, and maybe, like, uh, occasionally I'll do some long distance. And I was like, oh, the, and how do you place in about 200 and 100? And he's like, oh, 200, I place fairly well. 100, well, everyone takes that shit serious, so it's harder to place on. Which immediately got me covered because I was like, if I could smoke this kid, I could probably smoke a, a couple other kids out there, you know? Long jump, I'll see how that goes. Hopefully, my fucking knee doesn't, like, blow out. Because, again, it, it might be hard on the knees, depending on how I'm landing. If I can even get my fucking form right. Which I think I can. I, I got it. I got it. But, like, yeah. It's just it's something I'm very looking forward to. Because, again, it's just my own ability. So, the only person I have to, I'll have to blame is myself. And if I want to improve, I have to push myself. Which I am more than glad to. I mean, if I had to do speed ladder... And get from five seconds on it. Like, I, I already do, like, about three seconds on a speed ladder without messing up. Like, no stepping on the ladder, stepping outside of it. I'll do around three to four seconds on it. And uh, and I'm willing to get that shit under three if, I, if it's humanely possible. But I also have a parachute, so explosiveness can work. And I'm willing to hit, spend some time in the gym, kind of do that type of stuff. Uh, conditioning and pacing myself for the mile one will definitely be something that I'll have to work on. I feel like I'm very confident in it because I'm very good at kind of maintaining a steady pace. I mean, I can run a soccer field for over a hundred minutes if it's possible. Like we in the in the summer, I'll spend fucking from seven to nine. Fuck, excuse me, but like six to nine, or like. Or yeah, around six to when the fucking sun goes down. And we'll be playing soccer for those hours straight, like a game intensity. And I'll be running that shit. I'll be running the midfield. I'll be running everywhere. I'll play anywhere. And same thing like this season. I got showed that I can be active and running and back and forth and everything for longer than 80 minutes. And if I can do that for 80 minutes, I for sure can do it for four. You know, I might have to push myself a little bit faster, but... I'm more than willing to do that. I'll I'll improve on that gladly, because like, I just it just it's it kind of sounds badass. Like if I can run a minute in about sub four, that is pretty sick. You know, like um for the most part of it. But I mean, it's only it's it's a lot of if and what if you know type of shit. But that I I still have to work on it and work towards it. So. I should probably not talk about it so much. Mostly because, well, again, it could go many ways. College. I need to start applying for college. I applied for Eastern, and apparently I still need to send in my transcripts. But it sounds like I got like I got accepted, so that's good. That's pretty badass. But uh, not my... Not, uh, hard to say if I have a first choice. I really don't give a fuck. I might end up not even going to college if I really feel like it. Because, to be honest, I kind of don't have motivation for school. Like, I've been pushing myself hard for years, mostly because of my parents. So, like, it's just kind of like I'm burned out, dude. Like, I've never known anything besides school. So, like, if I can change that, I'll for sure do it. I mean, I, 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 I can also just try and get over with as quick as I can, but, like, for the most part, it's just like it's so uh, like time consuming, and it's just like it's inhaled my entire lifetime that I just I kind of lost passion for it, and it's almost like I forced myself to do it more than I used to enjoy it because everything seems forced now. Like I don't get any enjoyment of learning anything new. It just gets more frustrating because I'm cramming more shit into my already overthinking brain. But that's the only thing I really have to touch up on that. 
It's just... Fuck, dude. Life is actually around the corner. And I'm not sure if I'm ready. I'm still used to living in my parents' house, going out, maybe doing the same things week in, week out, and just kind of like just fucking existing. But it's just it's so fucking boring. I really need to change my habits. And which, I mean, like all this boring shit ends up leading me to find new, cooler shit. Like, because I had to find a way to distract myself. I think that's why I fell in love with incense so quickly. It was just like, it's out of my norm. It was something new. And I was like, fuck it, dude. Like, it does not hurt at all. Like, I might get a weird look if I mention that I inhale incense every day. Because I would try and turn one on when I woke up. And then one before I went to bed. Just to kind of soothe me down for the most part. And just like, waking up, it kind of just calmed me down. Just kind of. You know, just kind of got me on a steady pace. And then going to bed, it was just like a nice soothing little thing. But, like. Fuck, dude. I, I don't know. I keep losing. I keep losing. And I, I really just can't win. I really just can't fucking win. I can't even fucking sneeze. I can't get the satisfaction of just fucking hurt you. You know, type shit. Like, I just can't. Like, it's actually depressing to fucking be in this situation. Like, I fucking despise it. Dude. Weightlifting and my body. Um, that's another subject I'm going to talk about that I've just kind of been focusing on. I kind of haven't felt improvement weight-wise. Maybe on my arms a little bit more. Chest, I haven't felt much. But... I look built like a fucking tank with a pump. And I get compliments for it. So I'll keep right, I'll keep using the fucking compliments as much as I can. Um, It's currently around 10.30 right now. And I'm tired. And I played a game. Played a solid like quarter. Just running. So it's like. A lot of sprinting. Decided to play basketball. And then I'll have a fucking eat pizza. That's it. It's all there is in my system. Eggs, a muffin, pizza, a couple pieces of pineapple, and, like, my fucking, like, the insides of a sandwich. Well, one full sandwich and the insides of a sandwich. It's, so like, two sandwiches, just one without the bread. Like, uh, I'm for sure probably down on calories out there burning. I'll get them out, but, like, doesn't care I'm going to cut for track. Because, again, if I'm not jumping at least 15 feet, I'm disappointed in myself. Dude, I got, I'm, I'm really pushing the fact that the school should buy me track shoes. That's a, I don't know if that's kind of like me being a cheap, like cheapskate, but, like, I'm only going to use them this one time. Realistically, I'm not going to go out there and probably use track shoes again. Because once it goes to college, it's people that have dedicated their life to track and fields. I'm not even going to be good at it. Like, if I make it to regionals or past regionals, I'll be super proud of myself just because, like, I've been off for a while. I've been out, you could say, for, like, a year. And although I have, like, come back and played soccer and basketball, like, basketball is the only thing that I could say has kind of prepared me for track at all because, like, jumping, being explosive with my movements type of thing. But, yeah. Just kind of like soccer just kind of maybe helped me with my conditioning, but who really cares? I'm gonna get a bus cut tomorrow. That's exciting. I'm super pumped for that. I get a haircut, get whatever the fuck I have on right now off. It's fucking ass. I'm like, honestly, I might just be bald in my fucking early in my later years. Like, Hair is too much of a fucking pain for me. And it's just so fucking annoying to deal with. Like, dude, there was some fucking dudes on this other team where some ugly ass fucking hair. Ugly ass shit. It's like the new fucking trend where it's like parted right here. Kind of going like that. Kind of like, you know, like this. But they look like fucking mid medieval peasants with their fucking hair. They look like they'd be outside of the castle. Castle. Fucking looking for rations and trying to ask the king for help. Or, like, the type of people that got acts like, that would get recruited as knights and then just to, like, 
take the front line and fucking die. Like, they're ass. They look so fucking ugly. Hector said he was going to throw hands, but I knew he wasn't because, I mean, it's fucking Hector. I'm like, yeah. A lot of it can be all bark, no bite. And that shit gets annoying. So, I kind of want to see him throw hands, though. I would like to see Hector get in a fight. Because he's big ass and he's got muscle, you know, so he's big as fuck, muscly. He's got some muscle on him. So, like, I'm just excited to see what he can do with that. Like, a good matchup. Like, I've never really seen any of them fight. Like, Javi, who I know has fought people. Like, I've never seen him fight. He almost fought. Saved his ass, though. Saved the other person's ass. Like, it would have gone fucking well. It would have so one-sided. Like, it would have been borderline criminal to let them fight. Like, you know, it just wouldn't have gone well for either of them. And well, I'm kind of glad I did that, though. Because saved the man's life, literally. But, yeah. Um, kind of running out of things to talk about. These last two weeks have been super boring. Kind of frustrated, but about basketball, but who cares? That shit is literally in the past, and I just can't be bothered to argue about. Because it's not a fucking sport I'm passionate about. But again, I'm frustrated because I don't feel like I completed anything during these last, like, fucking month, month and a half that I've dedicated to the fucking sport and I just don't feel completed. Like, I don't feel like I did anything. Like, I cooperated so little. Like, I was there for the bus rides, the meal stops, and just kind of being there. Like, I literally earned participation points, called it a called it a day each day, wasted hours of my life doing absolutely nothing, achieving nothing, and it's just like, it is super frustrating, but who cares? Like, I realistically, I'm not gonna sit here and Trying to overthink, although I am overthinking, I shouldn't really be. Just because, like, it's not just not something for me to do. I already have a lot of things to think about, worry about. It's just like it's the last thing I need, realistically. So, I'm not going to think about it too much. And I think I'm going to end the recording here. So, thank you if you're listening to this still. This is nice. Should do it more often, but. Again, I was going to say every week, but I can't. I don't think I can hold up 30 minutes of me talking to myself about weird-ass subjects for 40-plus minutes. It's just, like, I struggled with this, and it's just, like, things that no one watches usually. So it's, like, not much to think about. Don't worry about it too much. But, yeah, anyways, this has been your favorite hopefully favorite five foot host i don't know if there's any other five foot host that people listen to or watch but for the people that are watching this who's your favorite five foot host for your fucking i don't know bi-weekly or is it like your random generated moment of an episode of small talk Well, thank you very much for sticking around and listening. And, well, that's all I got to say. Sayonara, p